Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you so very much for joining me. I've just am um, on the phone speaking with a friend and I decided that the conversation was something that you probably all would want to jump in on. So he was kindly allowed me to tape it. So that's what I'm doing now. We were basically speaking. Jay is uh, one of my friends and he is the complete opposite of the scale from me. He wants evidence and proper concrete evidence. But you're not a complete and utter sceptic, are you? You, you? you believe in Pate and you believe in a lot of the well, sites report. I've got no, 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 I've got no doubt for that at all. I've yeah. no. It's more the dogman creatures, isn't it? And it's, it's not, man, I'm, I'm on evidence, yeah. Yeah, I understand that because it, we were saying between ourselves, that it's like the early days of Bigfooting. There's nobody out there looking other than I can only think of Mike, Werewolf Mike, who you all know. Um, and a couple of the other guys that uh, are on Facebook, I don't think they network though. So I don't know anybody out there that's actually looking for logistical footprints, hair samples, scat samples, other than Mike. So there will be a massive lack of evidence, won't there, if nobody's looking for yeah. it? Yeah? Very true, very true, yeah. It yeah. should be a, a, a big difference, Well, yeah, so if we could get people out there looking, and that needs to come back and they say, well, we're not finding it. Well, me and you have both kind of done the route that we think they probably, well, we don't know, do we? But I'm more along the lines, me, that they are genetically engineered in some way. There's, there's something unnatural. If, 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 if they're going to be proven, then I, I, yeah, they've got to be unnatural to some degree, to, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, because there's no naturalness about it or possibility of it being natural, no. They, they, they're very different from the wild men, let's put it that way. The, the sightings are oh, very, very different, completely and utterly different. And they are yeah. described as having like ears on top of the head and a snout and canine teeth, paws yeah. instead yeah. of hands. So definitely down the canid line. And, and another thing, have you found that the difference in sort of people's explanations about the, like the rear legs? I hear both. Both people say that they've seen both types. It's still a dog type, back leg. And it's not. It's, yeah. it's, it's like a, a hominid type back leg. Yeah, and both. Both of those, those, those stated. Yeah, but yeah. definitely, yeah, you, you hear of an almost... See, don't get me wrong, yeah. there are reports of, of dogmen type, what they call the standing wolves, what they have hands and feet. And I don't yeah, know... It could be that the the witness, A, you've got, you're taking reports from years ago, so there was no word then, there was no dog man, there was no big, they're seeing something and they don't know what it is. So they're online and they find something and they think, right, that's what I saw. So that's the word that they go with. Or they don't even yeah. find it online, so they have to come up with a word for it. So I never, I always say to them, just describe as best you can what he looked like. And I'd never ask, I don't say, did it have? I just let him yeah. get on with it. And then you can kind of work out, you think, right, that is definitely one of the ones that's kind of ape like, but it's got a snout. Because you get yeah, these like the boom yeah. type ones, yeah. So you can't kind of split them down. But obviously, because I'm not stood there with him, I can't be 100%. So I always go yeah, off what they the say. Right to, to paint their own picture yeah. without you them in any That's way. the best it's way, I think. Well, if they want we're about earlier, you know, that, yeah. if they want to say, well, it had pink curly hair, well, that's what I'm putting. I'm not going to change it in any shape or form because that's their truth. That's what they saw. But there yeah. is definitely this leg dog shape with a tail, proper cane teeth, normally yellow eyes or red eyes, and it yeah. seemed to vanish and appear right in front of people. So not even slinking around the corner and dissipate, actually van vaporising in front of them. There's... Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Yeah. yeah and, and you've got to think, there's been, there has been stories about something similar going back time yeah. for a long time. Always, always, in every country of the year. Like say, there's always got the eternal truth in anything yeah. which is like that, no matter how small it is. I agree, something. I agree. It's, it's come from somewhere. And, and at a time... Yeah, and I always say, before, long before the internet, if we only go back 300 years, there are accounts of not only like dogman creatures, but all of the creatures we speak about today. But that's in a world where people couldn't communicate. There were oceans yeah. between them, yeah. yet they still have the same stories. They have the same stories in Australia that they have in Germany, that they have yeah. this, there's normally a wolf in the woods. And there is normally this either, some countries it's a woman that's care covered and carries children off in a basket. And in other countries like the UK, it's a, it's a man, a hair covered man that takes children or young maidens. 
Where's that come yeah. from? There must be a it's snippet true. of truth in that somewhere. And twists up from it, you know, like, like mm. say, the rubber room type, which is the French type, which, which, yeah. which but no, rubber room is, is, is right now, the, like the Louisiana or the Bible type. as they call it now, yeah. French, but it's from the French. Yeah, it is. You know, it is, yeah, yeah, and that would have started around the 14th century. So back in yeah, the 14th century, yeah, well, people were not yeah. discussing out of the countryside, their actual own town. They weren't really discussing it because people didn't get to mingle that much to discuss things like that. Yeah. So, yeah, and you have to be careful as well, and that's sort of what you sort of said as well. Yeah, very, yeah, because they, they would have pointed a finger at you and called you the witch. If, very much at all. So yeah, know, yeah, so. it would not have gone well for anyone, would it? The other thing yeah. is, when you think about it, they are mentioned in the trials in some of the witches. I hate the witch masters. It took many of my sisters, but they were very good at keeping journals because they were rich men, and rich men liked to be law. And well, they, think, yeah, what happened there was that there was something that was you know, and they're familiar to whatever you call mm. them, but it was something which was abused again yeah. because there was money, you know, for every, to every witch they burned it. Or, or yeah, exactly that, exactly that. Exactly that. Um, there was, um, that's what that was, but it's, again, it's coming from something, so the, the essence of it is reality. So, but yeah, yeah. you're right, they, they were often mentioned things like that. And yeah. It, it's coming from somewhere. It's got to have been, you wouldn't have journaled about it if it wasn't important. I mean, even in Caesar's diary um, and the Pliny. Uh, when Pliny the Elder and Pliny the Younger to actually write yeah. it down it must have been of some significance to do that so yeah. why did they do yeah. that the Gauls wrote about them Saxons wrote about them so they just always been here it's always been in our history you go to Wales the werewolf reports in Wales go all the way back to the first century yeah. but you ask yeah. people in Wales and they don't really realise that and it's the same in Ireland There's, there are hundreds of werewolf or this wolf-like creature that comes yeah. into the village, leaves animal mutilation, and will howl um, and and take children and babies and things like that. And, just, yeah, and, and, what, and what, what, what is that a little bit of commotion? What is it? Is that what we're seeing now? And that's why there is no evidence because they, because they're real. Yeah, they're not. Actual, it could be. It, you know, yeah. Is that what's really happening? It very well could be. We're seeing them around cemeteries. <laughs> Like this, this is what something what always brings me to. You know, like we said, dog man, it's canid. So, yeah. a canid is very territorial and dominant, and yeah. it will control its area. So, it would not allow any sort of coyote or wolf pack to be mm. anywhere in existence. It wouldn't yeah. allow them. Yeah. So, how are they successfully being around? And that just wouldn't happen. So, that again makes me think this is there. They're, they're very they're supernatural. They can't be. So they're not for they're not mm. now, they're just not, not they, naturally anyway. They, they could, there's, there's the theory that they could be both, so that they could be dimensional or come from a realm of some kind, so they're in and out here when they feel that like being be in. That's another explanation, yeah, that they're, yeah. They're, they're, they're a reality in a different, mm. a, diff, a different realm, yeah, which is right, and they to say that those slips don't exist. Yeah, exactly, it could be yeah. that, and it, and it could be that they are flesh and blood and we just don't understand them, and we um, are putting yeah. putting abilities on them that they don't have. Do you get what I mean? Because to us, it's almost magical. A lot of the reports don't mention. They'll say it was hunched and as big as a horse, and big and thick and muscle like a horse, but it had a snout like a dog. Dog's not the first word that they go for. They describe the bulk of the thing before they describe. Yeah, that's yeah, it's that that's important to the in the sight and to the witness is the actual size, the bulk of it, and how fast that it moved. All of them trying to hone in on those. These it say, I just can't get over it. It was how big it was. It was just everything like that to me. That, that there's nothing there that takes it out of Sasquatch sort of, 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 of place Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, and yeah. And I, I think a lot. I don't know how much uh, uh, misidentified, and that with this, with this now, because I'm, I'm not. I yeah, no, I get what you mean. You, 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 one, two, three, four types either, you know. But, well, well you that's know, how. You're right, because that's how I ended up looking into Dogman reports, because I realised back years and years ago that. These reports could cross. It, it's depending on what the witness is saying to me, so I need to be really yeah, careful. That's it. And that could, that could be the witness report could be that could be from their angle they're looking at. Yes. Because you know, that's where you get that flat nose. You know, that was not exactly that. that. If you're looking below and they said that nostril flare, you're 
not yeah. going to pay up enough stuff. You're not going to get that. Exactly yeah. that. That is yeah. it. I've never been able to get it into words like that, Jay, to explain to people exactly like that. Yeah. When I saw the thing that I saw, I was lay down on the floor messing with my friend and it leant over me. So I saw it kind of face to face, same level. Yeah. And I would have said that he had quite a flat, splayed nose, like a boxer when they've been punched. Yeah? Yeah. The yeah. lady that saw it two years after me, and I really do think it was the same one because she described the hair colour and everything exactly. Yeah. She said it had a nose like a pig, and I could not understand that. I kept thinking, yeah. why would she say that? Yeah, I've heard that before in a few reports. Like yeah. Yeah, and I'm thinking maybe it was the angle. And one night I'm what yeah, I'm watching, you know, I'm sat watching boxing with my dad and Chris Eubanks and I said exactly like that, Dad, his nose was exactly like that. And I thought, because yeah. she's seen it from a completely different angle than me. Yeah, it's a good example what you're using there, because depending on the angle and how yes. you're breathing, you're going to describe his nose completely different. Exactly, and that was it. That was what made me think, right, I need to stop putting yeah. labels on things and just looking yeah. at the actual descriptions and what they say. As soon as somebody said, it, like I said, it's called gorilla or eight, yeah. and I think that's because of the hair, they think it's the nose, if they're looking down, it's all yeah, we know. Yeah, it's all we know, yeah. isn't it, in the UK? We don't have bear or anything and like that. So if it's somebody to already was biased in that, leaning yeah. towards that, that's straight away, that's what they're putting. Mm. Yeah? And that's why you've still got groups saying it, it, it's an orangutan. Right? Yeah, or, lots of them. Yeah. You it's get lots of those. Like lots and lots of reports where they're described as a, not only orangutan, but orangutan in colour. You know, that orangey red yeah, setter. I think that's all it is. Again, it's a long hair because it's identical. I've seen the hair, the hair colour on, on, pl on plenty of footage and it's identical yeah. to an orangutan. It really is. It is. And it, it, it works. It's like one, yeah? It, 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 well, it, we have enough animals naturally that have that colour and they would have that colour because it works in the situation where they live. Chestnut horses we get all the time. It's quite a prominent gene in a horse. So I have no problem with that. And us humans, we quite, you know, quite a lot of us have red hair, reddish hair, yeah, blondish yeah, hair. Yeah, myself, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly that. So that yeah. never, to me, I, what I saw had a kind of reddish Tip where the sun hit it because the sun was behind yeah. it and it looked really yeah, really dark yeah, yeah and but it, the sun kind of put a bit of red within it so that's why yeah. i knew it wasn't black but if you'd have not seen that you would have said it was all black in color and it yeah, just yeah. somehow and i don't know how how it, it is impossible that it could have been there it could have not walked to that spot somebody would have seen it it's absolutely impossible that it could have been there and it just emerged from the bushes as if it came from the bushes yeah. itself and i still couldn't get a bob on look at its face because it kept its face in the shade and then when i ran i pushed my friend to the floor and i ran and i looked back to, honestly to see if he was coming after yeah. me and he just <laughs> leant back into the yeah. the yeah. shadow yeah. and he was yeah. gone <laughs> I know it's awful, isn't it? It's out oh, oh, of Deb. If you're out there, you know how many times we've yeah, had this conversation. I know, I know. I, just, I beat I'm myself not. up about it, even to this day. Even to this day, I think that's part of the passion. It was like I really let her down, and I really let myself down. And my dad always said I had to stand my ground, and I think that's one of the times that I didn't. I couldn't. It was like coming face to face with a lion. Yeah, or some. Yeah, yeah, it was primal. It was absolutely primal. It should not have been there. But then you know they've the got. Bushes, you know the bushes? Mm -hmm. how, how, where were they in relation to it when you saw it? Were they sort of like, were still sort of like part of the bush? Like, like, it lent out. I, yeah, it kind of, it was really tall, rhododendron and laurel. You know, like when they plant them up in the local parks and they look beautiful. Yeah, and then 35 like, years like, later, yeah, when yeah. they've not bothered with them, it was about yeah. 40 foot high, these bushes. And it had like brambles in there and um, ivy. And it was yeah. all just left to absolute shite. And next door to it was a sensory garden. So there was like, it was for the, uh, uh, it was a garden for the blind. And it had um, lots of, Lots of like smelly, like food, you know, like garlic and rosemary and her, her, yeah, yeah. all of that. And I remember smelling that, and that smell takes me back. And he, he kind of, he must have been in those bushes when we got there because it was only one way in. So me and her, yeah, we. There's no way. 
that somebody would have seen him. It was yeah. a massive mansion house, like an Edwardian mansion that uh, goes back to like the 1800s. It had a huge glass orange array. There was a, um, it was a park. There was people in it. It should not have been there. And it's every yeah. time I decide that the flesh and blood that comes back in my mind, and I think, Debbie, how did he get there? How did he get there? Yeah, it was yeah, as if he either yeah. knew we were coming, yeah, yeah, yeah. and why us? Why reveal yourself? Why not just have stayed hidden? And we would have gone and we would never have seen him. That, yeah, so that, 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 that that's yeah. kind of where I'm at at the moment. I'm thinking, was it a deliberate sighting? Was I supposed to see him? Are some of these sightings well, deliberate? Well, you do what you do now because look what it's led to. Yeah, you know, so yeah. It wasn't done for no reason, was it? No. Just, it had had an effect. If there was a reason, it has actually led to something. He's, he's had more than an effect. It's had like a massive effect on me, like. So, because I'm questioning, mm. not necessarily like I'm flesh and blood, so that's what she's definitely there. And, yeah. So I'm starting to wonder, because of the, the amount of the, the, yeah. the, question, the amount of sight which are doubling, trebling all the time, can be put down to, you know, the, there's more people, yes, yeah. and they're encroaching further. Yeah. But I think, is there another reason? Is there, is there something that they are aware of that we need to know? Yes. There's too much of this deliberate. Why would such a stealthy creature, which doesn't have to be seen, makes itself visible? Honestly, there are two theories to that, and I'm going to be dead honest because that's how I am. <laughs> One is that they know something that could save us. That there's something going to happen on the planet and they can save us by doing that. And the other side of the coin is that they are connecting with human beings in a kind of sneaky, lying way. So they look really nice and they get you involved. And then when they've got you involved, they've got you. And that's why there's so many missing people. Oh, I am not saying... Uh, yeah, I'm not saying any of that is true. I'm just saying that that seems uh, to be the two. Yeah, you can't, you can't be, you can't be too, too, too far in one. In either camp, but it's true. So you yeah. don't know. Yeah, I mean, to me, I've got to give you all the options of what's out there. Because I tell you what, if they, as a species, as a whole, decide that they want us, we're screwed. Like yes, we're there is. The, yeah, there's that. We're there is that. Big, big trouble. Yeah, I always say I have never had any bad uh, at any point while I've had interactions with them. I never ever have, but that doesn't mean that I'm correct. I could be one hundred percent wrong, and I am more than happy to admit that. So anybody, my beliefs are just my beliefs at the end of the day. But I also take hundreds of reports. When you were you you were lucky enough that you were guest hosted a few times with D uh, D. I always get his last name wrong. That's the one. And you know yourself that the sighting reports and they come in and they come in. So when you listen to them over and over again, you start to pick up on little, you think, oh, that's what they said. That other lady said that. And that other gent said, yeah. With the video scanning, I'm doing, I'm noticing certain behaviours and differences in behaviour to different cameras than you used to. I've seen it and it's obvious. Yeah. Yeah. It's completely different. They're not. You know, it's like I know if a family sort of goes towards the TV and, and watches the television out yeah. of interest. It, that's what they're doing to static camera that you're a man. Yeah. And I didn't know this until recently. I've watched it over and over again and they, they sort of gravitate slowly, slowly, slowly into position mm. and, they, and they just stay there and watch until, until the person returns. Right. It, it's crazy. But then when they're watching, mm. people don't feel like when they're walking through you now with the camera and they yeah. say, oh, you know, You just don't see it. Right? See, that's a skill. There will be people out there who want to know how to do that. And I send me your email, mate, and I will um, send your email over to Jeff. Yeah? And then he can show you his technique and how he does it. But you see... It's not a poor man's technique, is it? 
No one's poorer than me. I've got a laptop that's held, <laughs> held together with like wing and a prayer at the minute. Oh, every time I turn it on, I groan. But oh, God, honest to God. You're going to do it, right? You're going to find a way. Of course, yeah. I'm going to find a way. And you're going to find a way, aren't you? Because that's. Yeah. The rest, I know, you said to me at the very, very beginning of this conversation, I don't think I'd have anything that anybody would want to listen to. And I said to you, for me, it's about, there'll be lots of, I get all the time people say to me, I'd love to join Debbie, but I only, I'm only into the Bigfoot stuff, doesn't matter. We're into paranormal, we're into UFO, we're into the dogmen. I think that all of this phenomenon may be linked in some way, me. That's the way my... Well, I, I think there's, there's definitely a link somehow. I'm yeah. Like some... I don't think they, the aliens, because I don't believe that they're yeah. interested in I think they're, they're interested in them too. And I, yes. I think that's what might be. Is, I think they might be wary of them and try and hide from them. I mm. don't think they like it at all. You don't, you don't seem to get them in the same areas, Barry. You don't, people don't tend to say, like, I saw a dog man here one month and I saw a big yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You yeah, don't hear that. that. And yeah. you see, I see on the map that certain areas seem to be um dogman like northeast coast for instance if you go to the south go Iowa, south and you go like links like, yeah, yeah and and the yorkshire walls and the yorkshire dales it's it's dogman and werewolf reports but as you get nearer when does that start because i was told you in the, in the email about when they might that, that area mm -hmm. when did it start it down there i think um say it again sorry how far down <laughs> Yes, yeah, the, it, yeah, it, most it, definitely. It, 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 Every, right on to there. I'd love to ask farmers down there, you know, quietly, you know, if there is a, because they must be, if they're there, yeah. they've got to be stuff on missing. That's what that. me and Paul Sinclair do. I don't know how Paul does it, but what I tend to do is I say I'm a paranormal investigator. Have you ever, ever noticed anything? Strange on your land, like land, uh, like lights or um, animal, uh, and then you know, just say the animal mutilations or missing animals, and they'll either say no, no, not at all, but one in five will say, well, it's funny you should say that, and then they tell, they'll say like like the, at Bempton where they found th thirty sheep in it. Very, very extreme at times, yeah. yeah, no, I've never found that. I've never found that, I'll be honest. Yeah. Oh, no, job. never. In yeah. all the years I've done it, I've never found that from anybody. And I, 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 no, I you just, yeah, I, I thought that I'd get that in the beginning. I really didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I've never experienced Everybody is no, always uh, they just they just normally say, Oh, no, no, not at all, love. But yeah. Brian down the road, and then you think, Right, well, I've got a bit of a lead, I'll go and find Brian and just kind of buy you a pint, or you know, you're going yeah. in the pub, can I get you a butter? And then I just ask, it's, I'm just cheeky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just. I would imagine that's like, sitting it. I get a lot of people that say to me, Debbie, I absolutely love this subject. I love the subject of Dogman. I like listening to the reports. I like reading the reports. But I want to talk to my mates in the pub about it and they just give me the side eye. Have you got anyone I can talk to online oh, and they say, oh, no. Oh, gone out, yeah, yeah like, like, I know I loads of people. Money. Everybody oh, says that. Yeah, everyone says the same thing. And you I always, yeah. The most people say to me, "There's only one." I say, "Pardon, there's yeah, only one." It's the same, it's yeah. It's the same. <laughs> is he dead yet? Yeah, I get that a lot. Is it? I think, but I think they really think there's only just like the one, just that one <laughs> random one. That he might, I think he he might be um he might be a salesman because he travels the country a lot. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, there you go then. But if you believe that it's a hoax, well, don't you think that guy with the wooden foot is getting about a bit as well? Yeah, yeah, exactly that, yeah. Yeah, well, that's it. You've got to say that, haven't you? See, they yeah, say in the UK, they go, oh, it's it's too small. The advantage of it being too small is we haven't got far to look. So we've not got to go three days into our research area to be looking. We can be nipping in and out and seeing, yeah. you know, and setting a few... Like we said before, hair traps are really easy. It's just back to front duct tape. If you think there's something in that area, just stick some back to front duct tape on a tree and at some point you might get yeah. a bit of dog hair on it. Then we can get it to a vet and then we can get the vet to have a look at it. Yeah. Just something really easy like that. Yeah, you've got don't forget. 
You've got people in America who are leaving traps out there have um, fishing hooks on them because they want a real DNA sample. And to me, that's cruel. But a bit oh, of... I, I, exactly that. Yeah, why, why, why the hell would you do that? Should no. Yeah. It's not going to be good nature as long as it keeps four people about the fishing <laughs> Exactly that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> all the other... I, I always think... You gob on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about all the other animals? You know, why are you doing that kind of thing? Birds could get stuck on them yeah, every... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Horrible it's bastards. It's that race, yeah. the race to be yeah, right. But, That's what it's about. It, it, yeah. it, no, we don't. No, we don't. We just need a sample. We need a DNA sample. You can get a DNA sample without killing anything. So yeah, a bit of trap. Just get a. That's what I'm saying. You've heard more dogman accounts than by far than I have. I've only heard most Brits, and I've got some from across Europe, um, but I've got very few American reports because they just don't trust me. The Americans, they think I'm a bit shonker. So, <laughs> and there's a lot of bigger names than me. You've got D, and you've got Sasquatch Chronicles, and you've got all the other guys. So why would they come to me? So I don't tend to get a lot of American reports but i do research i do like you you know i research online and i listen and i try and pick up on certain things and i've asked a few people over the last couple of months and they i said to him have you found in the dogman reports that like cemeteries and old ancient native american ground and things like that and they said oh yeah it's yeah and i say on my research it's like Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, we can just... That's edu- yeah, that's education. That we, it was like that in the early days of Bigfoot. Nobody was looking. Nobody was interested. And people make mistakes. But you just say to him, you know, just put your iPhone back in your pocket and get a proper camera. You need a proper camera to be taking photographs in all honesty. Yeah, it's like the people that yeah. see weird things. And they say, well, we kept the pictures there. And I've worked out how they do it. They go on and, you know, like, zoom, 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 zoom. zoom yeah. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of misinformation out there, isn't there? There's a lot of misinformation. And the best yeah. way to curb that is to just teach people and, and just say, go back and take a comparison shot. If you think that yeah, something's right. in that, that, yeah. Just go back as quick as yeah. you can and stand in exactly the same spot yeah. and take a few cameras by just moving left to right a little bit and you will <laughs> get it ideal. <laughs> And then I look at it. Yeah, we've got to be doing debunking. We've got to be doing debunking. And yeah, if somebody said, yeah, within, within, oh, that's, yeah, you've got to be polite. You don't have to be nasty. Yeah, so, but there's a little down there. You can say, I can't really see anything there. But yeah. like you just said, give me the option. So we'll go and take an, another shot. Yeah, get a well, comparison shot. Five minutes between us. Let the time time stamp show that. It's okay to be wrong. I mean, I find if I yeah. people send me pictures of structure and I say to them, um, actually, that I've, I've made that structure myself. That's a, It's just a survival structure. It's just a biver. They'll get quite irate with me. And then they say, well, do you want me to lie to you? Do you want me to say, oh, right, well, that's a Sasquatch bedroom? Yeah, I know like that people there. in the UK and all across America and Canada and everywhere build those when they're hunting or they do it because they like wild camping. And they get quite offended when I say it, but I say, yeah. it's okay to be wrong. Put that to one side and yeah. go and zone in on something else. Yeah, that's all I ever say. I say, well, put that aside and then just, you get your idea. You know, you can go out there and you can see and then just you get your eye in on the wood and you start to notice these kind of weird, subtle changes. But the, yeah. as we said before, they're not in small, tiny woods. 52 weeks of the year 
That's not happening. So they might only be passing through. That sighting might have happened in that area because they were passing through and they might not go there for another 10 years. So it's okay to not find anything. Yeah, as, as, you know? If you look at yeah, if you look at Yeah, exactly that. But I but as I said to you, I've only ever found one print. In all the years I've been at this, I have found one print that was wow, why have I not got a casting? Yeah. That exactly that. And you just you just gotta be honest. People get irate and they get they, yeah, they throw in their app because they're not getting what they want. Well, it's hard. It's because on YouTube, I think people have come to this conclusion that you find every something every single well, time that you're out. Colorado, Bigfoot, people like that, they think it happens all the time, and it's there. Yeah, and, yeah, it's, and it's not. And what they do is punch it over and yeah. convince the viewer that that is what this is. And, and yeah. a lot of the time, it isn't. And, and it's just the way they are. It's and it, cells. It's false feeding evidence. And yeah. It's, yeah, that's it. It's it's all about likes and, and selling things. And to me, it just yeah. muddies the water. It really yeah, muddies exactly. the water. Because we're not getting to the meat of the thing. We're not getting... Um, why is no. he not in that area then? Why has he not gone and camped out there for 18 months on his own yeah, and lived wild? Yeah, when they're walking through and they say, oh, it's, it's the sign, and the sign, I say, well, right, if the sign there, stay there. Mm. You reckon you've got this... this understanding they know yeah. who you are stay bloody over yeah put your camera down don't go on youtube i don't see jane goodall on youtube every night of the week do you if you want to watch something exactly that that's what i if i knew yeah. that they were 100 percent in an area the minute i would know that they i would try my hardest to Get in that area or get someone in okay. that area. You're only going to get trust if you have. If yeah. You're not, if you're not going in, there, what did it happen? Yeah, exactly that. Trust. Exactly you that. that like it. I'm exactly the same. I, I get I get beat with a stick all the time. You say to me, Debbie, you you say all all tree. No, I do not say all tree structures are big for. I say a lot of it is weather. A lot of it is kids. A lot of it is yeah. scouts and no, things I'm like that. Bushcrafters, foragers. Yeah. But, that's yeah. That's the important that. stuff. The, the head scratches, as I call them, the, the post turtles. How the fucking hell has that got there? If you. Yeah. 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 That. That. How's that happened? Marks, no, that's me. I just think yeah. that I think that's 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 an anomaly, and that's what you take photographs of. I don't think you need to. I think if you're going to be out in the woods and you're looking for structure, you need yeah. to you need to educate yourself on what humans are making out there, and yeah, eradicate that from your research, and then you can think right. If that's a bushcraft shelter, and I can see a fire ring, so I know that humans yeah. camp in, maybe it's better if I walk three mile in the opposite direction, so I'm away from humans, because I can't see any yeah. respectable creature that wants to remain elusive, camping with no back door, where... Yeah, you can see it, it serves no purpose for exactly. It's and then you just have a good look. See, see one saw mark on any of the little bits of, yeah. bits of limb. You know it's a human. They're all twisted to stats like they do. Yeah, and interwoven. You know, you know what it is? And some of them, you can see how thick they are. There's nothing human. It's really, people don't realise how hard it is to break wood. Yeah. Green wood. They don't realise it. I tell you that now. It, and they need they need to go back and look at what early humans did, what we did. We did yeah. not build shelters where other tribes could find us. We built up on hills so that the, the sun was always in your enemy's eye. And we tended to right. have a back door. Yeah. Why people used to use the stone and use yeah. cover like that. Yeah, exactly. And wood, and wood was abundant, but that would give you away. Yeah, exactly that. Right. Exactly that. So it's just... It, yeah. it, it's impossible to find stuff out there and it's supposed to be impossible to find stuff out there or they'd be seen all the time people think because i get so many reports that these reports are happening week in week out it's not like that there's probably only one two three at the most face-to-face full-on reports in a year if i'm lucky yeah. 
what yeah, I get a lot of, of yeah, 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 is is accounts yeah, that have, yeah, yeah, howls, feelings of being watched or shadowed, they are much more prevalent than actual face to face. But I want to know that so, that's happening in the area because. Exactly, like exactly. That's I got it. Was it when I started taking those reports? People were not happy in the Bigfoot community. And I said, yeah. if we are looking at, doesn't matter if it's dimensional or flesh and blood, we should be hearing howls. We should be people making strange reports of things in an area. If you're in an area where there's a big cat, you can pick up on it. Your animal brain goes, oh, I'm in danger. You might not know why. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we are used to see eyes that big, yeah. I've had a report. Yeah, a report. He's exactly like that. I've had a report come in only about a month ago from two ladies. She's incredibly detailed in it the way she's wrote it out. She's clearly very serious and an educated lady. And she just said that they hike all over Scotland, and it's something that they do. But there was something in that wood that absolutely terrified them. And they felt like, even though they knew the area, they felt turned around and a little bit lost. And I hear that a lot. And it seems to be that they get this feeling of being watched. They sometimes they'll hear like knocks on the tree and running feet. And I think it's a kind of distraction circling you kind of thing. And you feel like you've got to get out of that area as quick as you can. Some of them even report time loss. And say oh, like, yeah, oh, I came. Yeah. It could be sort of like portraying that sort of emotion onto you. Yeah. You know, like I said, that when you when you, your spidey senses are tingling because that it, it, it's your own um, um, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
3D reality world, aren't we? So we, we become numb to fear. So we need an even bigger and bigger fix each time, for some people, because the, it's just society accepts violence, doesn't it? So it's an everyday thing. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Got witnesses like that. As you know yourself, a lot of the serving soldiers came back and just did not. Their jobs weren't saved. There was no housing for them. There was no help for them. And a lot of them just bobbed out and just went into the woods. And they're still out there now, just living in the woods, doing what they know best and staying away from society. And I've been lucky no, enough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Try to go back. Yeah, you hear it in soldiers. You hear it in um, feral children where they've been out in the woods and they've been rails feral. And they suddenly rescued, and them kids do everything they can to get back because it's all they know. It's their natural to them. It's their natural environment. So being wet doesn't matter. Being dirty doesn't matter. Catching your own food doesn't matter. It's what you know. And yeah, self yeah. If you're more comfortable when you know you don't know where your food's coming from, but you know you've got to yeah, the because that's all they know. So I've been I've been lucky enough. I, I managed to get hold of a soldier that had served. But he waited around about 25 years before he came forward. And he, when I spoke to him, he put me in touch with quite a few other people. And they said themselves that they've had really weird, not so many face-to-face, -face, but while they've been out there, they yeah. had noticed, what did he call it? Ground truth. He said, Debbie, it looked like somebody had not only covered up the trail, but they had also left false trail. So if you were looking for them, you'd go in the complete opposite direction. And he went, the only place I have ever seen that is in Afghanistan, where we leave, a f if you're left out there and you've got to stay out there until they come in and can get you, the best thing you can do is cover all of your trail and leave a false trail going west and you go south. If you get to the, absolutely, that's what he talked about. If there's anywhere where you can't help but leave yeah. your own trail, then you try and be deceptive. That's what all he talked to do. And he that said way you can. he was finding sign of that. He was so if he's out there and he's living out there and he's saying to me, Debbie, there's something out here that is strategically cleverer than I am. Something's creeping around the tent, something's talking food, and his dogs were terrified. And he just led from one to another to another. And he well, I think they're the, I think they are the, like I said, they talk about in particular. I think they are attuned and yeah. Yeah, to that, uh, yeah. They're masters of their own environment. Mm, most definitely. But they utilize time and time again. I'm seeing military strategy. I'm seeing them use it out of normal behavior pattern. And that says something. That takes some doing. It is. It does. That's not common sense. It's not like common sense. It's a, no, it's a level of intelligence, isn't it? It's phenomenal what they do. And I think yeah. a lot of the time. No, and if it reflects, it can refract light with like a natural. Some people think it's the oil on the hair. Other people think well, it's the, the hair the, itself. In the, in the sun, yeah, they, they, they can show green. That's what I keep seeing a lot of the footage. Everything is green. They look very green. And yeah. Speaking to the, uh, Dr. Ketchum, she yeah. had this, this, this some sort of chlorophyll yes. um, aspect in, in, in the hair sample, which is fascinating, which would explain the green. <laughs> yeah, some some animals that don't actually eat. Every plant on the earth uses that method to feed, but there are actually animals that feed themselves by the sun and only by the sun. So if we've got that naturally in the UK, and I'll have to look up what they are, but I remember reading the article and I was absolutely startled. And I thought, 
could I get lots of reports where there's this green tinge of a face or he looked like the green man or this the fur had a kind of green tinge to it. And I thought, are they eating chlorophyllically, whatever the word is, by the same way that plants are doing it? They extract sugars and food from the sun. Maybe they do that. I don't think they Right. I mean, it's a theory, isn't it? Let's put it out there. Yeah. It could be, you know. Yeah, well, if, if, if they are actually like unnatural, unnatural aspect to them, then let's just say how they are. Because like, you've got yeah. photosynthesis, you know, chemosynthesis, which yes. is like the chemical version of it. Yeah. But, but you're right, yeah, turn in, it's turning sunlight and into sugar. Like, mm -hmm. The next is that's what they do. So maybe there is something like that. And, and then, what we said just in Britain, because like, the, the number of animals aren't going missing so to feed that, maybe they. You just never know. Like there are animal, there are animal missings. There are definitely animal missings. Enough to feed a population. Because I don't think they eat. That's what I've always thought. Mm. They do adopt a different feeding program. Yeah. Pattern to, to make up. I think they're very much aware that if they keep doing this, that will bring the, that will bring yes. it on top. I'm yes. Yeah. Most definitely. Aware. That's why I don't think they stay in one area for a very long time. A, they would deplete the food sources, and B, they yeah. would be noticed. And you. Yeah, yeah. I just don't think they do that. No, I don't think they do that. No. And I think we see so many. The males versus females is about ninety eight percent. Ninety eight percent of the reports are male. Two percent are females. So we're clearly seeing males that are moving around and not females are moving around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there'd be similar reports of well, both, wouldn't like there? Lot of. Yeah. I used to say, years ago, I used to say, oh, it's got nothing to do with it. It's absolutely nothing to do with it. I don't feel like that anymore. There are no, certain areas, like, say, Bankery in Scotland, where in Bankery you've got the report that the actual creature left the woods and chased the car with the gentleman in it, four men in the car. Right. And then on the same stretch of road, about two years later, You've got this creature that stalks through Bankery, two men who are going to work one day in a morning um, in the woods. Then you've got this lady that says it turns up constantly and she can see it from the house and it's got red eyes. And uh, Right. Uh, no, and, and just, yeah, so then you look and there are missing people in Bankery. There are missing people in those woods. No, they're just, no, 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 mm. no reason. Uh, well, there's a number of bodies that have been found, but it, A, they're either classed as, um, let me get it right, no suspicious circumstances, or... Which makes you think... Yeah, or... Makes you think somebody who's not due to be dead, dead. Mm, is that suspicious anyway? <laughs> they'll, they'll word it by saying it's not in the public's interest to announce how the death yeah. occurred, which yeah. is a good way of saying we have no idea. Yeah? Yeah, well, I would want to know if people were disappearing in my local wood and being found. It's, it's of interest to me, you know, but the government's decided in their wisdom that it's a... I think it's linked. It's linked to a degree. It really is. Well, it's got, I mean, you've got to look at... You can only go the way that the evidence takes you. Can't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's linked to a degree. Yeah, yeah. It's linked to a degree. You've got to look at it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's linked to a degree. Yeah, yeah. And you, and that's kind of yeah. I've got to look at it. I've got to be a realist and look at that aspect of it because it does seem to be a little bit of a tie-in. And it's just there's one case in my town, and I live in Manchester, so as you know, the Manchester pusher. There's one yeah. case in my town where oh, that yeah. lad was on the phone to his mum when he disappeared, yeah. and she said that she heard howling, and that he kept saying, "What the fuck is it? What the fuck is it?" And yeah, and howls, and the police recorded that. And then the next day, they said, "Oh, whoops, sir. Um, we didn't just we didn't record it. I don't know what happened there. Every single police call that came in that night got recorded, just not that one. So we did a bit of a whoops, sir. So we've not got that one. So there's an hour and a half of tape. And where, where was he? When, what, what, what was his situation? What was it? He was in. In Manchester, they only count the pusher victims to the edge of Manchester city centre, which is only about three miles. So oh. there's five, they only count the ones on the Manchester Ship Canal that runs out to through Manchester and it goes down to Liverpool. But there are four rivers that move into that canal, four other yeah. rivers. And he was out in Manchester. He'd got mixed up and he was, where he was found was in Salford. 
where his phone his mum was so you're probably looking at about five six miles out of manchester city right. center so he'd made it now every single corner has got cctv you cannot move in manchester without being seen no, uh, no, you know so he's managed to make it to the docks of the Manchester Ship Canal. Now, there's no real direct route unless you walk the canal yourself. And if you did that, you would realise that you were walking away from town because it gets darker and darker and darker as you leave the route. Yeah? yeah. So he would have turned around and gone back. Right. And he phoned his mum and he was in upset panic. And his mum's listening. She's got her iPhone on and he's phoning on the iPhone. And he's, he's hysterical. So like any mum would, she picks the house phone up and phones 999. Yeah. And tells the operator what's happening. And she can hear him screaming, what the fucking hell is it? What, pardon me, what the fuck is it? Yeah. And, he's, and you could hear howling in the background. And so she put the house phone and the iPhone together because the woman on the phone said, right, we're taping the call and we're going to try and listen and see if we can pick up anything that will tell us which part of the Earwell he's on. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what they were doing. And his mum was firing questions at him. They never found, I don't think, I'd have to check. I'm sure they didn't find his body at all. But no, I do no, remember that they no, found, no, yeah, no, no, no. I, I'll have to double check. I'll have to double check and get back to you. And I can't remember whether, because there's so many, these, it's past 90 now of these victims. So I get them yeah. mixed up when I'm thinking about them. But he, they definitely found his phone in an area that the police said that they'd already searched two days before. And yeah, the, the mum and yeah. dad found it by ringing it. So why the police haven't thought to do that is... Yeah, or, or use the, 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 the sort of like... The find my iPhone app. Can locate, can't yeah, they? you just find my yeah, iPhone app and... The, yeah, we so... Yeah, and then you're talking about a, a force that told a mum 10 years ago, this is your son on CCTV, walking in the opposite direction of the way he should have been going. He's heading for the River Earl and we think he's probably fell in. When they check that video about eight years later, it's not even her boy. So that's what you're dealing with. And the police are yeah. not looking into it, into the, the, the disappearances at all. That's straight away, there's something up. Yeah, they're just saying there's no suspicious circumstances at all and it's not in the public interest to link the deaths together because there's no proven pattern in the deaths. And they're all males between 17 and 35. And then there's a jump of around 15 years and then you start picking up males from 45 to about 80. Very few females mostly males and that pattern spreads all across the UK. But they're trying to put the, the, the link about the homosexual link, haven't they? That's all the news yeah. report. Because of the area of town where the canal goes through, it just so happens that the gay village is there. But lots and lots of straight people go to the gay village. It's only called that because it's a, an entertainment area all the drag queens put the show on there. It's, it's, it, it's, it's a tourism thing, but it, they do it for tourism. That's why they call it that. But it used to be a beautiful part. It's a very original Victorian part of, and you've still got that. So you've got big buildings that used to be mills and these yeah, very yeah. dark, thin canals that run between them. Yes, yeah, exactly that. That's exactly what you've got, yeah. And and those rivers run out to the hills in the countryside. And it just it just seems a really incredible place that all of this, these disappearances are happening. It could very well be a serial killer. And we could very well split them up and say some may be suicides, some may be drunks that have fell in, some may be fights or, you know, like the rip, nicked your mobile, push you in the river. We've got to look at some of them, but there's so many cases. It could be, yeah, it could be like that. Yeah. That stand out. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that... that that really got my interest, and I thought that's incredibly strange because there's been seven reports in my mine's a dead small tiny town, and we've had seven reports. And then up in the northeast in Stanley, Consett, I think we've got to yeah. four reports there in a very I small know, village. That's what, it's my initial email to you. My yeah. first email was, was about Consett. I said yeah. I'd love to go there and ask the farmers around there because. I did, on my own, my basic training at Patrick, mm -hmm. we went and had a, 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 like a weekend off at concert. Right. And it's like, how you would want to make a horror film set up in the York, you know, that is it. Yeah. Them. And that's where the reports are coming from. Mm. And we think there's a corridor there that's leading up to Kielder through Harwood and up to Scotland, which is ideal, isn't it? I mean, they're not that far from Scotland in Northumbria. So, you can, 
in the middle of nowhere if you yeah. want to be up there, then you can exactly. really are. Really decent deer population, really decent boar population. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's an ideal area. So I'll put these two researchers at the minute that are looking at the concert um, witness accounts, and I put them both together in email yesterday, so I can pop you in as well, and and yeah. get you chatting between yourselves because you might all be able to help each other out. And there's there's about nine, ten researchers up there, and I have a number of times I've sent yeah, an email. Yeah. That's why I made the group. That's why I made the members map. Let's get yeah. people on that members map and get them talking in email and let's get teams yeah. out. If witness reports come in, I could phone you and say, look, a witness report has just come in. It's from the Beamish area. This is what happened, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Will you go out and speak to the witness or will you go out yeah. and look at the area for me? And yeah. you could come back and say, Debbie, there's no way so much running about around there. It's the car park. Or you might come back yeah. and say, actually, it's this something about, you know. Some, 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 like, first yeah, exactly. That, that, that's what I'm hoping for. Like, I and mean, that's what yeah. I'm hoping for. That's why I've done I wouldn't put so much time into making that map if I didn't think it would work and I can see it working. Yeah. Because there's yeah. p people all over the UK not realising that there's other people in their towns and villages who've got exactly the same interest as them. Yeah. You know? Like the island syndrome, don't think yeah, not, I don't think we do, do we? Yeah, exactly that. So the more I can get people put together, that's why I'm doing the conferences and things. It's mm. something I can do online. It's really easy for me to do. And um, yeah. I can do it all with my voice activated stuff. So it's not strenuous, you get what I mean? And I think yeah. I want people meeting up and, and swapping stuff because we all, I, you know yeah. stuff that I don't know and I know stuff that you don't know. And it, I think that's how we're all going to learn. Yeah. Online in this, in this sort of like community, there are no experts. No, there are the people that say they are, but no. there's no experts. I'm not no, an expert, it's... not by any means. Well, I'm still learning. If we find cameras and we can all put a little bit together, eventually, yeah. something is going to come out of it. We end. might do. We might I find a thread. Yeah, and just talking yeah. about it and talking about the yeah. icky stuff that people don't want to talk about. I'm We've got to look. Those. Yeah, you've got to look at everything. You've just got to look at everything. You can't say, well, I'll look at that side of it, but I'm not looking, that's a bit dark. Yeah. yeah, well, I, I can't do that. I, I want to... You know, we know that they could all be linked, you don't know what they're yeah. linked to. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I'd be a fool. I think I'd be a fool to myself if I did that. I know not everybody's happy with it, but I don't care. Nobody but will stood with me. If you want to be ex uh, so, so, so exclusive and ostracise yourself from, from that's the bigger picture, not, yeah, why. that's not my problem. They were not stood yeah. with me that day. Unless they were stood with me that day, they cannot yeah. tell me where I should go or what I should do. I, no. they don't need an answer like I need. Uh, the people that are, are criticising me are not witnesses. Yeah, so to me, I think, well, yeah. you, you don't understand me because I'm not coming from the same place. I'm not writing a book about it. I'm not doing it to prove anything. I'm looking for a flipping answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to know how it got there and how I saw it and why did I see it. That's what's important to me. So you're never going to understand me. So I'm wasting my breath. I'll just keep yeah. ploughing ahead. I want to know about, I know nothing about extraterrestrial world. I don't know anything about it because I've never been able to learn. Same with the dogman stuff. Same with the paranormal stuff. Well, I, I guess, that's about what I'm going to do. Is. I'm going to talk. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to as many, hopefully, if people will continue to sit down and talk to me like you do, I'm going to ask as many people as I can across the world. Because I haven't found a place yet where people have gone, no, nope, never heard of it. Patterns will always appear. And I'm like, they must, yeah. They might be slow, they might be very, very Yeah, exactly. Subtle, but they will appear. They will appear. I'm not giving up after 37 years. And I said to my husband last week, I am sick of apologising for being a witness. I didn't ask for it. You know, I didn't set, I didn't set out to see it. I am sick and tired of apologising and having to explain myself to people and I'm just not doing it anymore. I saw something when I was a kid that I cannot flipping explain. Yeah, and that's all there is to it. And I'm going to... Have you been open enough to explain it as that? Yeah. No, I might never know. Any other connection on it at all? We won't claim anything else. No. I just, I just, I can't because I've not, until I sit down with one, 
Oh, so until somebody until somebody, until somebody like, yeah. Only plan to defeat in one night here or the other, like. I see time and time again. Yeah. No, BSRO won't put, put any of the things in if it's got a slight bit of wool in it. Yeah. If it doesn't say tonight, don't work like that. I know, I know, sister. You're doing the sighting reports and witness reports. It's like, what, if you're already limiting what you will report. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed that a lot. And I'm not prepared to do it. Lot, yeah. I'm not doing no, it. Yeah. I'm just. Every small bit, we don't know how small it could be. Yeah, definitely. Important. And people, yeah. the big, the witnesses themselves have more than just that sighting. Nine times out of ten, if you ask them if they've had any other strange experiences in their life, they'll go, oh, not really, but this one time. Yeah. And you tend yeah. to find that they have had other yeah, experiences, yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. to do with cryptids. Sometimes it's to do with extraterrestrials, sometimes it's to do with paranormal. And I just think, yeah. well, maybe they're the type of person that picks up on something. And maybe that's yeah. why they're having the yeah, sighting. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that I think some people are more just more, I do myself, yeah. more likely to do that. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's sensitive, whatever that means, because yeah. apparently that's what I, I am, and I don't know what that means, so I just think it, I don't buy into it at all, because I don't know what it is. I'm the same yeah. as you. People say to me all the time, oh, you're psychic. When I think of a psychic, I think of some woman at a table with a purple cloth in a Victorian mansion, and they I all... I'll tell you what's going to happen over the next... Uh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, so I just say, no, no, no. I thought, well, okay, but I don't mind it. I just don't know. I just don't know. I follow me gut. I just follow me gut. It's never stayed me wrong. And then it speaks the right way. It's like, you know, like, it's thoughts. You know, like, people have thoughts, like they say. And you get into people, including those, when it's just a thought or a feeling. Yeah. Then that can mean something. Yeah, of course. Because then people hang on a minute. You know, they're all adding up in an area. And it doesn't have to be a, like a, a blatant sighting or a yeah. howl or, or this. You know, it's just a feeling, just a funny sort of emotion. And it can mean something. Yeah, like exactly that. that. Yeah. People yeah. talk about it affecting the mood. Yeah. There's a lot of the reports. The people, the confidence then to come forward. If yeah. they don't, if they've got something but they might not think that important. It okay, is. You know what, yeah, I'm glad you said that, Jay. It is. Every single yeah. tiny thing is important because we. it's the only way we're going to look and go, wow, look at that area. Yeah. We've got all this going on in that air. Let's get in there and see what's going on. We could douse yeah. it. We could get psychics in there. We could you get... Some things will work, some things might not, but who yeah. knows if you don't try it? Just get them in there. Yeah, right. let's yeah. just try it. Why not? And yeah, we never problem. know. That's that's yeah. exactly what I want to do. So it's like, well, I'm just not. Yeah. I know people know me as bit the Bigfoot woman, but I just, it's never. I've all. I, I want to spread my wings and look. I'm I'm 52. Yeah, I want to learn about other things. So yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spread out a bit more. And yeah, and, and, and similar. It's like when they call it art and trade, isn't it? Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Uh, when you, what, everything what you're left with at the end, no matter how daft. That is what it is. Yeah, exactly. that's, what, that's what we're going to be like. It's, the improbable. It's, enough, you know, mm. it's going to do that. I speak you know? to people who have seen the improbable on an almost daily basis. Yeah, and it just, after a while, when you, you see something, it stops shocking you. And I still get reports that take me breath where I think, oh my Lord, you know, and it, I think that poor person, right, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? How can I? help him how can i get and i say right yeah. and then i just start i don't know where the words come from i honestly don't know where they come from and i think no, it's I just be, yeah. it's just because i've been in that situation before yeah i recognize the fear yeah re that's it they say to me how do you know that i recognize the fear there is of course yeah. there's loads of stuff that i go oh yeah thanks for pulling my leg but i'm far too busy for that I get that all the time, but there's something about the credible witnesses, and you see and the uh, fear you within them. Really yeah, but and and not giving the game away. There's certain tricks and things that I do because I wouldn't be responsible if I didn't. It's called ethical research, so I can only I can't drip you know drip water on someone's head. Yeah, and, and, an yeah, you have to be sneaky. You have to be a little bit sneaky. And then yeah, you apologise yeah, later. Tactic. It's just it's, it's all you can do. You've got to try and get the 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 meat of this the story. So the best thing I say is, don't speak to me about it yet. Write it down, send it over, and I'll read through it, and then I'll see what I can do. Because then yeah, I know. 
it's it's yeah. their words. You get what I mean? And I'm not influencing yeah, them in any way. Between the first time they're giving you answers yeah. and the second time they're giving you answers, is any sort of differences and blatant differences. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, but... It, it happens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely it happens. that, yes. But also on the other yeah. side, people tend to remember something later on. Even I did. Um, yeah, I never... Out, yeah, yeah, I never thought about ears for maybe 30 years. Never even entered my head until Warren Port said... Warren was trying to draw in for me. And he said, Debbie, what were the ears like? And I said, oh, I don't know. I didn't see them. And I hadn't thought about that before. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I remember you saying that. Yeah, remember, uh, so it can be. You, you, you put, you put on that, yeah, and, and it, you, you just think them. maybe that it's the same for them and it is the same for them. Sometimes it can be years and years after and you'll speak to them and something will come out and you think, oh, you didn't tell me that at the time. Yeah. Or something yeah, it can be... In, fine. Yeah, yeah. it, it can be... In, are, are you, you can tell. Them. And, and, and they'll, they'll, you'll get the ones that push it, that'll try and make it more and more dramatic each yeah, time yeah. and you have to pull it's them back and you think, no. The story should remain, you know, it starts at source and yeah. then it gets told they shouldn't spread it alive, they really yeah. spread it to different places, you know. You do, I mean, and you do get, I do get yeah. people like that. I get people trying to hoax me all the time and sending me yeah. images and, like, videos and things like that. But you get yeah. used to it. So you just it becomes as easy as just throwing away a spam email. You just think, there's another one. There's yeah. another one. You just get rid and move on. Yeah. It's always going to happen. It's just part of the course, isn't it? Really, in all honesty. Yeah, and you just, I just take it in good grace. Well, I say to my husband, "Oh, they're not even trying anymore." <laughs> like you know, in the older days, you used to get really good hoaxes. Now they can't even be bothered. So it's just like, oh, I can't be bothered with him. Oh no! And then you get the other side of the coin where. Some people, I've been in touch with them for 15 years now, so they're like proper family friends. Do you know what I mean? So it, it, it has both epic, both sides because you recognise something in them that they yeah, recognise in you. Thing, yeah, you because you, yeah, exactly that. Because you've been through a similar thing, you see. Yeah. So, and it's yeah. easy. Yeah. And, and you, yeah. you share a lot of secrets, so you, bec you become friends over the years. It's thing, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That means something when you can rely on that person. They know that they can get hold of me anytime they want. And I might not always be able to put if my pain's bad and I can't call I will get back to them though. I'll find a way of getting back to them. And yeah. they know that because they've been by my side so long. Yeah. And a lot of them have said to me, Debbie, I want to be regressed. I really want to be regressed. I want to go back to that day. And so I found an hypnotist that I trust and I made sure I trusted him first. And then yeah. I said, you can film me. I don't care. Put me under, film me, and I'll tell you what happened that day. Yeah, and then a lot of them said, I want to do that. And I said, well, let's do it then. I'll be the guinea pig. And then if you want to go next, you go next. You know what I mean? And then we'll just do that. Yeah. And then push it even – we might get a few details that we didn't get. Do you get what I mean? Like you'd – Yeah, who knows where that could go. Any sort of like, mm. little, little, little sort of add-on bit, which was never been mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, exactly yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Like that, yeah. And it and it might make the incident. Yeah. We might be able to make the incident smaller for them in the mind. You get what I mean? Take the fear out of it for them. The same way that you could stop somebody smoking or yeah. yeah just say obviously you you you're not you're okay with that now. When you're gonna come back, you're gonna leave that yeah. fear behind. Because I'd but like to. Do... Themselves, they're all for one. Yeah. You know? I, I really can't wait to do it. I'm excited to do it because I just think, well, that's that's just absolutely perfect. If it's okay with you, Jay, I'm going to wrap things up now, if that's yeah, all right. Yeah, that's fine. That's don't fine. put yeah, the phone great. down. Don't put the phone down when I finish. I'm just going to say goodbye to the listeners and then I'll still be here for you. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will definitely get Jay back on. And if you've got any questions for Jay, pop them over to me in email or write them in the comments below. And the next time I bring him on, I can ask him and we can answer them for you. So until next time, thank you all very much for joining me. Good night. Good night.